So here's some more examples of the distributive pro property with fractions, and we'll do these four examples here. Okay, so let's start with this one, write it down, it's 5 times 1 plus 1 fifth. Five times one plus one fifth. Okay. So again, we've got a number outside of a parenthesis with things being added or subtracted inside. So we can apply the distributive property. Multiply the five times this and then this, right? So we'll get five times one and then five times one fifth. I'll just write this down for fun. 5 times 1 plus 5 times 1 fifth. Okay? And then just simplify each one of those, right? So what does that make? So 5 times 1 is 5. And with this guy, we can write this if we want. It's 5 over 1, cross cancel. 5 and 5 goes to 1 here and here, which is just 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which is 1. Or you could write it 5 over 1 times 1 fifth gives you 5 fifths, which is 1. Right? But you get 5 plus 1, and what does that make? So if you can add like terms, keep going. 5 over 1 makes 6. Right, so the answer here is 6. Now, we do this one the same way. This is just x times 1 plus 1 over x, right? So we're just going x times 1, and then x times 1 over x. Okay, so see if you can do that yourself. Press pause even and give that a go. Press pause and try this yourself. So here we had 5 times 1 plus 1 fifth. Now we have x times 1 plus 1 over x, okay? So, x times 1 is the first thing we have, right? Plus x times 1 over x, right? Now what's x times 1? x times 1 is just x. What's x times 1 over x? Again, you can write this as x over 1, can't you? Just like this was 5 over 1. And you can cross cancel if you like. But you might like to think of this as x times 1, which is x over 1 times x, which is x, x over x. And what does that make? What did 5 over 5 make? 5 over 5 made 1, right? What would 3 over 3 make? 1, right? What about 2 over 2? What's 2 over 2? 2 divided by 2 is 1. How about A over A? What's A over A? same as any of these. The same number divided by itself gives 1. So x over x is also 1, right? So we have x plus, this This makes x over x, which is 1, right? Now, write this one down, 3 times 2 thirds minus 1. 3 times 2 thirds minus 1. And we're going to multiply the 3 by this and then the 3 by this. And afterwards we'll do x times 2 over x minus 1. Okay. Oh, by the way, in the last example, I just want to point out that we had 5 instead of... The, these two examples are exactly the same. Here we had a 5, here we had an x, right? This answer became 5 plus 1. This answer became x plus 1. So you can see the answers are equivalent, right? 5 plus 1, which made 6. But x plus 1, you can't add x and 1 because you don't know what x is, right? Okay, 
So these these answers will also be similar because they're a similar problem. We've got a three here and a three here, x here, x here, right? Anyway. So we're doing this one, three times two thirds minus one. So that'll give you three times two thirds minus three times one. Right? So three times two thirds. You can write this as three over one and cross cancel, right? Three to three goes once, three to three goes once. And that gives us one times two over one times one, which is two minus three times one, three. So two minus three, and what does that make? That makes negative 1, right? So write this one down, press pause and try it yourself. It's x times 2 over x minus 1. And it's you do it the exact same way as we did, did this, only instead of a 3 we have an x, okay? So press pause and try it yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we're going to take this x, multiply it by this, and then multiply it by this. So we'll get x times 2 over x minus x times 1. When I multiply it by this guy, I'm going to, um, I can write this as x over 1 and I can cross cancel. Same way we cross canceled here, I can cross cancel the x's if I want to. And in this last problem, we could have cross cancelled the x's here as well if we wanted to, right? Just like we cross cancelled the fives. But um, so you can either cross cancel, or you can go x times two is two x, and on the bottom you have one times x, which is x, and two x over x. Now you can cross cancel. X and x goes once here and here, and so that gives you two times one over one, which is two, right? Or you can cross cancel here if you want x and x goes once here and here. So you'll have 2 times 1 over 1 which is 2. But either way that, that turns out to be 2. Minus what's x times 1? x. So 2 minus x. right? And notice that over here so when we started the problem we had a 3 here and a 3 here and then on this one we had an x here and an x here, right? So the problems were the same apart from here we had a 3, here we had an x. This one became 2 minus 3 and this one became 2 minus x, right? Anyway, and of course these are like terms so we can combine those together to get negative 1 but we can't combine a 2 and a negative x because we don't know the value of x. It's an unknown number, so that's as far as you can go, right? 